Hello, it's is Style Con coming at you today with another video from the tobacco company in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. Smoking on one of my favorite cheap sticks, an Alec Bradley uh, family blend. I was a little disappointed to find out they're discontinuing these. If you can find them, they're pretty good sticks for the price. Sipping on my little yingling light as I'm getting older. I gotta watch my girly figure. No more fattening beer. Gotta stick with the light. Now let's get into today's topic of discussion. And that will be... The Japanese and Germans taking over the watch movement industry from the Swiss. You say, StyleCon, what are you talking about? Well, I've watched a couple of videos from other YouTubers. Like I've said in previous videos, that's where I get my inspiration from. And some of these people are saying, once the Swiss play hardball with their movements, and if they make them proprietary, meaning if you need to have your Omega watch service, you can't send it in to anybody. You have to send it in to Omega, which they'll probably charge you more money to get it repaired because you can't send it into you know every Tom, Dick, and Harry uh, watch repair facility. And I'm thinking about this. You know what? That's not. I'm not saying it couldn't happen. More likely, this is not going to be true. And the reason why I say this is, I mean, there's a couple things. With the Japanese and the Germans. You know, who, who's like a, a big purchaser of Swiss watches? Japan, I think, is like in the top five. Even though they produce a decent movement. I mean, obviously, the prices are a lot better. But this is like one of those things like with your car. If I've, I've had a couple of BMWs. Uh, I like the cars, but needless to say, when it comes to reliability and how much it costs to keep those things on the road, very expensive cars. They're not cheap, but you know what? They still sell cars. And to be quite honest, you could buy yourself a Honda or a Toyota that actually would work better and be cheaper in service and more reliable than a Mercedes and a BMW. Save yourself money on purchasing it. Save yourself money on the back end, on the maintenance. And But guess what? Mercedes, they're still selling a lot of cars. BMW, none of these companies are hurting for money. So I'm thinking of it in the same way with the Swiss uh, watch world whereas needless to say you know so they do make things proprietary people are still going to buy it i mean it's considered to be the best i mean just like with the mercedes and bmw i mean they're not the best cars if you check out any uh car magazines or if you check out some fellow youtubers they make a decent car but you're better off buying a honda or a toyota than you are either one of those but you know what they don't have problems selling them people pay the extra money for maintenance and everything else and to me that's the same thing that's going to happen like some people say it's going to be end of the world you know with the swiss and if they make everything proprietary people aren't going to buy their watches anymore and you know people are going to start buying japanese and the germans it's not going to happen to be quite honest more well, i shouldn't say that because obviously i can't guarantee anything i don't have a crystal ball that i can look into the future but the swiss are still considered the best watchmakers in the world that's why people will keep coming back to them no matter what. Once again, this is Style Con. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. As usual, if you like, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And my little catchphrase I'm trying to work on right now, remember to always do your research and make sure you get the best buy for you.